Hi guys and welcome to DIY with Nadia. Today I'm participating in a look for less challenge. Now this challenge is hosted by Yami from the Latina Next Door. She is, you guys, she's the cutest thing ever. I have been watching her pretty much since she started doing these challenges and she's just so creative and she does such simple but beautiful DIY so please check her out and her host for this month for April is um creative on the cheap Courtney I have to admit I have watched uh some of her videos but she is newer to me than Yami is so but she is also love her DIY so cute so simple but so adorable so please check these ladies out if you have not done so yet with that being said so today's look for less is going to be a pottery barn picture frame and this challenge let me tell you it is harder than it looks because as creators we find inspiration here or there and we make something with what we have and you know that's the joy of it but with this diy it was hard because you had to find something that somebody else created and had to recreate it. So for today's look for last challenge, I picked this picture frame and this picture frame is sold at Pottery Barn for $49.95 and that's the smallest size, that's the 3x3 three three, and they go up to $69 for the 5x7 one. Insane, insane and I recreated it for a dollar. That's just incredible so the picture frame that i am using i found at michael's for 99 cents so with tax 105 something like that so for a dollar versus you know 49 uh, 49 50 plus tax it probably would have been like 55 dollars here in chicago and i just thought it's cute it's simple and it looks the same it has the same look and it's definitely a look for less and i think i did okay you guys let me know what you think down below and i hope you enjoy seeing how i made it I started off by giving the picture frame two coats of white acrylic paint. You can use any white paint, including chalk paint. That would also work really, really nice. To make this part easy on myself, I decided to divide my picture frame into three sections. The left, the center, and the right. And then I took the left and the right, and of course the center, and divide those sections in half again because of the zigzag way that the picture frame is designed. That was the easiest way to sketch everything out. Here I'm just following what the design is in the picture and I'm actually using this posted node for my right angle to make the little zigzags. I just felt that it was small and it was easy to use so I used that. Then I actually took one of the posted nodes and folded it into about half an inch and just kind of use that as a guide for my spacing between the zigzags and that really seemed to work really well throughout the picture frame. Now I'm using the same white paint I used before but I'm actually putting it on kind of on a thicker side. I'm really not taking light little strokes. I'm actually trying to put on some volume on this because the other sections of the paint are going to have black and gray and it's going to be layered so I wanted my white paint to also have that thickness so that's why I decided to do that
After my white zigzags have completely dried, I'm grabbing some washi tape and I'm taping over all those zigzags. This way I can use all my dark colors without worrying about damaging all the white zigzags. For my darker paints, I chose Black by Craftsmart and Zinc gray by americana and i went slow you guys there's no need to rush this picture is kind of like a jigsaw puzzle so there was divisions in between the little zigzags so that's why you see me going a little darker in the center and putting that line in with my black paint but the process i used for this whole design is basically a little bit of gray a little bit of black and i streaked it off with my damp paper towel and just continuously repeating that process After my dark zigzags have completely dried, I removed the washi tape and here you can see my beautiful zigzags and I'm so excited. So what I'm doing here is any bleed through that I saw that went underneath the zigzag, I'm just going over with my white paint. And yes, I am ambidextrous. If you noticed, I did switch paint brushes from left to right hand. And I also draw with both hands and write with both hands. So there's a little bit about me. Now it's time to center the picture. I'm just using these black metal, uh, I guess, picture holder little tabs. And I'm just scratching the picture right there. And this just gave me a point where to, um, to cut. And of course, you see my little Leo. He had to make an entrance. <laughs> I am using a 99 cent frame I did want to protect my picture a little bit more so I use this paper protector or paper pocket I guess and just trace the picture around and made a little bit of kind of a covering for my picture and cut that out and there's Leo again guys think i hope you enjoyed seeing how i did this beautiful picture frame and just for a dollar with and with the paints that i had at home so with that being said there is a link down below for all the youtubers who participated in this challenge also yami's and courtney's channels are down below please check them out and support them and i will see you guys in my next video bye